Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, this video is completely based on Kin Tool Face Tracker node. By using that, you can do this kind of face tracking and many more. So without wasting any time, as I always say, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, right now we're in Nuke version uh, 12.1, the most latest released version. And if you notice that this face is completely 3D tracked by using this amazing tool called Face Tracker, which is provided by Kin Tool. And thank you, Kin Tool. It's a big uh, thank you from VFX World that you guys are providing us this software license. This software is just amazing. So guys, if you want to purchase this, if you want to download this, you can go to their site and you can simply download or purchase it from there. In fact, you can use it for free for 30 days so what you guys are waiting for just go and download and start doing creativity okay uh, so first of all what you have to do we have to track this model so this is today's content and if you notice this is a simple script but this is not a end you, we can do lots of lots of things by using this amazing tool okay so first of all let delete so you can see these are the my basic scripts which I'll show you in my next video in detail more things and all so first of all delete this all and uh, let's start with this simple footage which is this one okay so let's play it you can see this footage from avengers endgame and uh, the character is all of our favorite character tony stark iron man so the project settings is completely done now what we have to do you have to take a net note call a uh, face builder like this and after that you just have to see there's a camera bg and texture and guys i'm not showing you this thing again because i already have a tutorial which is based on this face builder how you can use this and how you can build face by using this node so just go to my previous uh, video link is in description in fact you can click this i button here as well so i will skip this area and i'll directly jump after of this face builder node step okay guys so right now as you can see the face build process is completely done so now what you can do you can turn off from any of this from here like a uh, head back and all but i need this all areas for right now for showing you this tutorial and guys one more thing i just want to add that this shape is not a rig it's a blend shape so that you can move it this kind of a way so after that what you have to do you have to just go to this result option over there you can see there's an option called output geometry uh, sorry output transform geometry just you can check this on and after that you can see there is an option called transform geo face tracker access camera camera position you can take a note by pressing tab called face tracker but i suggest you just go from here and take face tracker from here because it will be linked with this output it means whatever you will change with this face builder note it will automatically be updated with this face tracker i'll show you that why i'm taking this type of steps for this thing so just press export over here and now the face tracker node will automatically popped up in fact it will automatically be connected with camera to camera geo to geo and bg to bg now every time when you are using nuke you just make sure you have to arrange your note in the proper way so just i'm arranging it like this you can do it by your own way i prefer it look like this after that just connect with this face tracker by pressing one and now double click on this face tracker when you double click on this you can see there's a new window will be popped up which is look like this and over there you can see there's a call analyze input it means the is the face tracker node will be analyzed entire footage and so that that track will be happening in a more good way select your folder where you can put this analyzing data for this i'm taking this areas like let's take analyze and after that press just open when you press open nothing will happen just what you have to do you have to click this analyze button over there you can see this is called dot pre scale format will automatically be come and then in the frame range uh, how many frames you want to track uh, the track uh, sorry the analyze after that just press simply ok so when it will come i will get back to you so the uh, footage analyzing process is done and right now the face is in default mode now we have to adjust it in again in face tracker node of this kind of sequence okay so now double click on this face tracker node and always you have to choose your frame range and after that just click this center geo just click here 
now you can see the face will come like this now guys i want to clarify one thing that i don't have this character multiple uh, angles photo but if you have those kind of photo multiple angles photo you can use that photos for creating the face model in face builder node then you can come with this uh, face tracker it will give you the more accurate result and now what you have to do after clicking the center geo mode just click and just drag and you have to simply adjust your positions and all uh, again so like this but in this time it will be a um, very easier to do now see it will automatically being like this and now the character face is open right so when you click this joints and drag it like this you can see the face will automatically being open okay so this will only happen when you using this face tracker it will not done in face builder node so just drag the positions of this face and after that just adjust the lips and all so i'm just doing this fast forward so that it will not being you so much bore so the face uh, building process in again done in face tracker node now if you notice the face mouths are open the eyes uh, this kind of uh, folders are automatically being come and after that you have to simply just make it track now guys i want to clarify something that don't use unwanted pins here because it will can destroy your entire tracking data so just try to use that pins which is really necessary for your input do not try, uh, use the unwanted pins okay now i want to sh show you some more options over here this is called surface mask option by using this option you can turn on this option from here now what happened it will if you mask this areas it will not being affected so okay so these areas will not being affected by any of this input okay so that's why i masked out this areas because i don't want this or else you can do one more thing you can go to this face builder node and just simply you can turn off this neck area okay so this is also you can do so you can turn this off or you can turn this on so let's begin with this turn this on mode and let's start with this masking i don't want this area so that's why i mask this out okay and you can reduce uh, reduce this mask uh, sorry the brush size and all from here simply like this okay after that when you're happy with your shapes and all and just simply you have to click this play button okay so just turn this off and you can see the pins are all available here and after that simply press play and when you start press play it will start animating and just press cancel what you have to do by using few frames you just have to adjust your shapes like this and uh, adjust your shapes in a proper way so that that animation of this uh, model will be proper and make sure always the shape will not being distorted so much so that it will hamper your final output okay so when you adjust your shape finally what you have to do just a little bit here and a little bit like this so when you're happy with this just what you have to do just have to press this refine option what refine option will do it will refine this frame to this frame entire animations just press refine and what happened it will automatically start refining from forward to backward and right now the is refining process is done and now you can play forward so just press play again so now it will start tracking the rest of the frames just cancel it and you can simply adjust it like this every time when the shape will be distorted or something like that you can adjust it by pressing cancel like this it's very simple and make sure do not use unwanted pins it can be destroy your output so guys if you notice that if the track is completely done the face track is process is completely done now what you can do you can simply turn off any of this model from options like i want to i don't want this neck so just disable this neck part but i want this ears if you want if you use if you don't just disable this double click here so now see only this much area is visible if you don't want this pins just remove pins from here so that this pause it remove pins so that it will like this now let me tell you the all rest of the options over here over there you can see the focal length the mask areas like render so display render render options there are a few options of either here called texture wireframe if you turn this off it will look like this kind of green so it's look really really amazing in fact the tracks also happening really well so guys uh, there are so many options like motion blur now if this footage have any motion blur you can turn this motion blur option all and you can see this few changes will happen in this areas for motion blur see these areas are adjusting motion blurs automatically and just turn on this motion blur because this character already have the motion blurs you can change the shutter angle the samples and all if you change the sham samples from here you can change the shutter from here as well so just make it like this and when you press play the track is exactly look like this it's it's not um, it's not kind of a maya match move but it's more than that so yes it's a very cool way to track this kind of faces and guys in the next tutorial i will show you how you can 
put some textures on it how you can place anything of this uh, face model how you can project anything and everything in detail so it will cover it in the next topic of face tracker so this is it for today i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you want to purchase the skin tool face builder or face tracker you just have to go their site and you just have to download or you can purchase it from their a link all are in description box below and guys if you really love my videos then don't forget to subscribe my channel vfx world also you have to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy and keep rocking vfx world